In this video, we will be showing you how to use the sling psychrometer. A sling psychrometer is made of two separate thermometers, one that is known as the wet bulb. The wet bulb will have this gauze at the bottom on the bulb of the thermometer, and the other side is known as the dry bulb. This is just an average um, thermometer. So what we do is we take and we need to get the wet bulb wet. So this gauze section right here, we take and we dip into some water. So if we bring some water over here, you don't have to get it too wet. You just want to dip it in there so it's a little bit wet. And then what you do is spin it around, not too fast, not too slow, for about 30 seconds or so. Notice how I'm not spinning it too fast, but I'm not spinning it too slow. Um, the reason we have to spin it is because the wet bulb temperature tells us the temperature that water is evaporating. So we need to spin this around so that the water does evaporate. Okay, so then we take our reading. So this is my wet bulb. Now I want to get my temperature. If I read here, this is in Celsius. So this would be about, looks like it's above the 12 there but it's about 12 degrees Celsius. So I'm gonna record this on my board. So our wet bulb temperature is 12 degrees Celsius. And my dry bulb temperature, the t thermometer that doesn't have um, the wet gauze on it, is in between um, 16 and 18 there, so we'll go with 17 degrees Celsius. Okay, so this sling psychrometer gave us the wet bulb temperature and the dry bulb temperature. In order to use it to find relative humidity and dew point, we have to use these temperatures and consult our reference table. So first, let's look at our relative humidity. Our relative humidity, we need to know our dry bulb temperature and the difference between wet and dry bulb. The difference between wet and dry bulb is known as the wet bulb, or yep, the wet bulb depression. Okay, so <clears throat> what we need to do is we need to subtract these two, and when I subtract 17 and 12, I get 5 degrees. So my wet bulb depression is 5 degrees Celsius. So when I go to my chart, I'm going to use the difference, which is 5, and I'm going to use the dry bulb, which is 17. So I go to my chart. And if you notice, 17 is not on here, so we have to go in between 16 and 18. Difference is 5. Let me fix this here so we can see it a little bit better. So 17 is right about here. We need to go down to 5. So at 16, it would be 54. At 18, it would be 56. I need 17, so I'm going to take the value in between there, which would be 55, and then this is always a percent, as we can see at the top, okay? So with the temperature in this room right now, it would be 55% relative humidity, meaning 55% of the air is filled with water. Now to find dew point, I'm going to use the exact same numbers as above. I need the dry bulb temperature, and I need the wet bulb depression, or the difference between my wet and dry bulb. So again, I find here 17 is in between 16 and 18. Difference is 5. So I read down. If it was 16, it would be 7. If it was 18, it would be 9. So I look for the value in between there, which would be 8. So my dew point temperature is 8 degrees Celsius. So my regular temperature in this room is 17 degrees Celsius. That's my regular air temperature for my dry bulb. My dew point is 8. Remember, if these temperatures were equal, if we were outside, um, that would mean our air would be filled with water. But for right now, humidity is pretty low. It's about 55%, so the, water is, uh, the air is not filled too much with water. So using our sling psychrometer, we can figure out wet bulb and dry bulb temperature, and from that, we can determine the relative humidity and dew point. 